friends. Welcome back to Aisha's Butterfly Lens. Hope you guys are doing good. I am good. Hope you had a good week. My week was whew, busy, crazy, and just all that. But anywho, so today is Sunday. So the kids are going back to school tomorrow. Thank God. Yes, thank God. Okay, yes, it's been a long week. Even though I was working, it's still been a long week. You know how it is with these little ones. But anywho, um, hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Hope you had a uh, you enjoyed your weekend. But anyway, so what's going on this week? So I am preparing for Ramadan, which is coming up. So uh, it will be either Wednesday or Thursday, inshallah. So right now, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I like to make my fish empanadas. Um, I usually make this with the ground beef. Um, I don't make the fish a lot, but when I do, you know, want something different, I do make the fish empanadas. As you can see here, I have everything laid out. So let's go over the ingredients. By the way, I have my pan getting nice and hot. In the ingredients, I have a quarter cup of parsley, half of, half of a white onion, just, you know, roughly chopped quarter cup of uh, green onions here. As you can see, I have my empanada dough. I have two of those. It comes 10 in a pack. I just have two just in case. I have some black pepper, minced garlic, salt, cayenne pepper, some cooking oil, tomato paste, tomato paste, and some vinegar. And right here, I have one pound of the catfish. All right, I already rinsed the catfish out. So um, if you don't like fish, if you're that person that don't like fish, you can do this with uh, ground beef, chicken, or even or even steak, because I made it before with some steak that I had like left over. So whatever you prefer, whatever protein meat or whatever you prefer, that's what you use and just get it cracking. So now, over here, my pan is getting, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of oil. We don't need a whole lot of oil. Okay, not a lot of oil going in. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and place my fish in here. So I'm gonna start breaking it down. I'm not, uh, the oil was hot. I am not looking for a, I'm not looking forward to uh, like, like frying it. But you want the, you just want the fish to start cooking up a little bit, then I'm gonna break it up. Once it start cooking, I will add, I will start adding the seasoning and all the, uh, the onions and stuff in here. So guys, this is this is really quick. This is a really quick uh, recipe, and this is like a make ahead for Ramadan or any day. Whatever, to be honest, you can uh, have this for any day you prefer. So today, uh, my plan was to uh, make these and freeze them, uh, freeze them up for Ramadan. But I'm gonna go ahead and fry some because um, today is Sunday and it's been a busy week. So we're just going to go ahead and eat this today with a side salad. And tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm still going to be working on my uh, the stuff that I'll be cooking for Ramadan. So I'm going to be making egg rolls. All right, friends. So the uh, catfish is cooking down, as you can see. Um, it's, I broke it down to little pieces. It didn't take long at all. I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with my seasoning first. Pinch of salt. I'm gonna start off with a pinch of salt. If I need more, I add some more. 
Okay, this one of minced garlic. Black pepper to taste. Eyeball it. Tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And I feel like with I feel like with the catfish, it definitely needs flavor because you know you don't you don't want it to be bland. So I feel like I need I just need that kick, that cayenne pepper, give it that kick. But of course, if you're not into spicy, don't worry about it. It's okay. Just cook it according to your liking. Okay. Got a season in here. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, tomato paste. This is the six ounce. I am going to use the whole, uh, the whole can. And as you can see with the, uh, with the onions and green onions and the parsley, I use green because I thought, hey, I'm using tomato paste. So to me, it just made sense to use green. I don't know, but whatever color you have works really. It doesn't matter, but I just chose to do it that way. And I always and I always tell you guys use use what you have in hand when you're cooking because whatever is in your fridge or pantry, that's what you need to be cooking with. You know, there's no need to be you know stressed out about it. As you can see now, um, it had that nice color. I'm gonna go ahead and add my veggies in here. And it smells so good in here, friends. So good. And after I add the veggies, I'm just gonna cook it about two to, uh, two to three minutes and it's gonna be ready. But keep in mind, I have to let, I have to let this uh, fish filling completely cool off before I start uh, putting it in my empanada dough because if I put it while it's still hot uh, that dough will just fall apart so cook this for additional two to three minutes turn the stove off and let it and let it cool off once it's completely cool we'll start making the dough and friends I didn't forget about my vinegar we'll need one cap about a half a cap actually and just put it in here it's just gonna help wake everything up and make it taste delicious believe me don't skip that uh that part all right so two to three minutes then i'll turn the stove off and guys the color looks so beautiful And as you can see, there's nothing sticking to the bottom, really. And there's there's nothing sticking to the bottom. And we only use about two tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. And I already tasted it for salt. I tasted it for salt uh, and more seasoning to me. Uh, it is good to my liking. So I am A-OK -okay with it. There you go. Now I'm turning it off. Letting it completely cool off. I see you when it's time to assemble. Okay, it's time to start doing my empanadas. That's how it looks. I will put up two tablespoons of the filling in the middle. That's one. Not a whole spoon, but there you go. You don't want it too much because you want it to be able to close. So it's in the middle, so the edges, you just pinch it. Probably move, 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 move. Just want to pinch it right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, So 
so the ed the edges i'm just i just got a fork and like <clears throat> pinching it like this so we can all stay close that was easy right so i know some people don't like stuff fried um and it you can put it in the oven if you prefer you can put it in the oven but i prefer to fry it everyone in the household like it fried so we fry it so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything uh everything in here then i'll fry it and show you what how it looks all right i'm still rolling but in the meantime i have my pan here with some oil getting uh getting nice and hot so i can fry these bad boys up and eat it up guess what's ready friends my catfish empanadas when i tell you this is so delicious it is still delicious so good i have four more going i'm about to flip it over and friends i just cut this so you can see inside it is so good friends go ahead and give this a try if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up until next time peace be good stay well